The Federal Aviation Administration reporting 150 cases of unruly passengers in just the past week. That's the biggest weekly surge of the summer. Three quarters of incidents this year involve people who won't wear masks. But 22% of adults in a survey say they would refuse to wear a mask while flying, according to data platform Dynata. And 7% think it's okay to take out their frustration over the mask rules on the flight staff whose job it is to enforce them. So what's that doing to flight attendants who have been to wrangling passengers each and every day? We talked with three of them dealing with it on a daily basis. Andrea Day has their stories. We are going to school you. Passengers gone wild, punching a flight attendant in the face. Sit down, don't you? The footage so disturbing, it's tough to watch. In this case, the captain even calling for help. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain speaking. We'd like all strong males to the front of the aircraft to handle. And the worst part, it's not slowing down. And for those on the front lines, a frightening reality. We had a gate agent that was punched in the head so bad, so severely that she had to go to the hospital. It's definitely out of control. Matthew Cook and Mitra Amirzadeh are flight attendants for major airlines. I have apprehensions going to work uh, every day. I have a lot of anxiety. So does this flight attendant. She fears losing her job and asked us to conceal her identity. People are pushing the envelope a little bit more and making it a more volatile situation. 35,000 feet is not the place that you want anything to go down. Is it making you reconsider your job right now? Yeah, for sure. I've had the F-bomb dropped on me. Um, this is a ridiculous side eye lip and a little temper tantrum in their seat. I've been lucky. I don't know if they're going to get violent. and I don't want to have to deal with that kind of situation. Like this one, when a woman on board had to be tackled to the ground. Are they going to throw punches? Is it just going to be verbal? How does it get to that point? I don't know. I'm alarmed. People are using the mask mandate as an excuse for poor behavior. I absolutely think that our jobs are getting harder. Flight attendants now watching your every move. Every passenger that I come in contact with, I'm definitely going to size you up on how big of a risk you are. Especially if they're not wearing their mask properly as soon as they get on. We are all watching and we all have a lot of power to say if you can or cannot go. What do you think should happen to someone who assaults a flight attendant? You're a no-fly list. I would hope forever. And if it were up to me, not only would they go to jail, they'd pay a fine and they wouldn't be allowed to fly any air carrier. They'd be riding the Amtrak train. And Shep, this has gotten so out of control lately that some flight attendants say they are this close to walking away from a job they love. And what could make it even worse, Shep? Well, Mitra says her airline will begin serving alcohol again on board very soon. And she's worried that will just elevate this situation. Shep? Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.